Today is and continues to be until the polls close, Federal Election Day all across the country. And uh, we hope that you have voted and that you have cast your ballot for uh, the party or candidates of your choice. We also hope that on this very same day, Joe, mm -hmm. that you will cast your ballot for 100 Huntley Street. Would you please just go to the phones, one 888 -0003, or you'll go online at uh, 100huntley.com and deposit, if you will, into the ballot box of 100 Huntley Street. I, a like, generous what, I donation. like what you did there. That was good. Well, let's just try to work on that, Joe. Yeah, we rehearsed it well. <laughs> That, Nailed it. Yeah, if people only knew. <laughs> uh, serious stuff here. Uh, a yeah. federal election day across Canada. Of course, you know, the prime minister has spoken quite a bit about Israel and Canada's yeah, uh, yeah. defense of Israel and uh, care for Israel, et cetera, while trying to be fair to all parties involved, I think. He, he's, he's very beloved by, by yes, the Israeli people. So. And you, of course, have just had a passion for decades now for Israel, and people identify your ministry with mm -hmm. prophecy and Israel and Jewish customs and traditions. I normally like to keep a neat uh, desk here, but I uh, just yeah. had our staff cut out over the last few days articles out of the Globe and Mail and from, uh, uh, from the New York Times, just uh, uh, headlines. Uh, security actions raise tension in Jerusalem, the cycle of violence in Israel, mismanaging the conflict in Jerusalem, Syrian government forces backed by Russian jets, uh, more yeah. assaults reported amid uh, Israeli uh, security. Uh, here we go, here we go. M Russian missile, missiles help Syrians go on the offensive. Yeah. Wow, and all of this is covered in Target Israel. Yeah, that, that's why I the think role of the Ru Russians and, and absolutely. And, yeah. and this this book is so timely. And what's also very timely is a couple of weeks ago, I had a chance to sit down with, with Bible prophecy expert Joel Rosenberg, yeah. and we talked about that exact issue. And here's some of that footage. Oh, good, good. For the first time since 1941, wow. the Russians are involved in military combat operations in the Middle East. Mm. The last time the Russians used military force in the Middle East was 1941 when they were invading Iran. Now, mm. uh, Russia and Iran are working together. Wow. Their militaries yeah. are working together in Syria. And they are now operating just, just miles, just a few dozen miles north of the mountains of Israel. Wow. Now, this has prophetic implications, Big but time. if you just start with the geopolitical, what's happening? The United States was always supposed to be, we were, we were with our allies, Israel mm. and the Arabs, against people like the right. leaders of Iran and ISIS. But now what you've got is we are, we are basically given over the region. We've created a vacuum, and Vladimir Putin, mm -hmm. the president of Russia, right. is moving in. He's moving in economically, he's, mm. he's selling arms, he's selling nuclear technology uh, to Egypt, to Jordan. He's trying to replace the United States. Right. And now he's involved in combat operations in Syria. It's incredibly dangerous. And okay. it's been bedrock American foreign policy for 60 years to keep the Russians out of the Middle East, Ooh. and now they're there. Now they're, they're building there. two military bases. They're drafting 150,000 new soldiers into the Russian army. Really? That's just happening in the last week or two. So wow. these are fast-moving events, okay. and they're very, very dangerous. And, and we should add, you did that wow. interview with uh, Joel Rosenberg just a week and, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, just two weeks really ago. Really fresh. Well, yeah, I got a chance to stand with him. Uh, the, the day after Iran and... and um, and Russia joined forces and went into Syria. And he talks about it being tens of miles away. I think they were only right. 11 miles away from the Israeli border, very easily uh, targetable. They could just launch a missile, it could hit Israel at any time. Well, the Golan Heights, you know, separates uh, what is Syria. Syria says is their land, Israel uh, right. has, has, has taken that land uh, decades ago. Uh, it's very tense there right now. And you're talking to people in Jerusalem, and what mm -hmm. are they telling you? You know, for, for some people, when they, they kind of see the ticker about what's happening in Israel, it's just it's whatever to them. But for me, it's personal because I've been to Israel over 38 times now. I have friends who live there. Wow. And I was just on the phone yesterday with, uh, with a friend of mine, and I said, well, what's the vibe like in Jerusalem? And he said, you know, surprisingly, it, it, it's very calm right now. Israelis have this type of mentality, and I don't know if it would work over here. They say that... we. We live here in Israel, and if we can't live as free people, we'd rather die in our own country than live in terrorism. So e even though these things are happening, Israelis are just choosing to live yeah. a life of normalcy. The only democracy in the, uh, in, in the, in the region. Middle East. Uh, talk about Target Israel, because we want people to get the book. We, we want you to call us, and uh, we'll send it to you, one 888 -0003. Remember, we're in the midst of a match gift challenge right now. And if you would call us, we'd love to send you the book as our expression of thanks. A match gift challenge of $10,000. So your 
$10 gift becomes 20, your $20 gift becomes 40, your $50 gift becomes 100, et cetera, et cetera, up to $10,000. So please call us, Ed Heinsen and Tim LaHaye, uh, world-class experts. And uh, Ed Heinsen is with us on some of these programs this week. He'll be live in the studio next week here at That's Tom. awesome. You know, I had a chance to, to flip through the book and, and, and read it at length over the weekend. And looking at some of the, the topics here in the contents, Israel and the crossfire, the beliefs of Israel's enemies, that's something that we don't understand here living in the West. We're protected, we live here in Canada and in the United States, and we see stuff happening over there. But understanding what the enemies of Israel actually believe is very, very important, and, and they, they cover that here. The miracle of Israel's existence, Israel's divine purpose, it goes on and on. This is a book that we are highly recommending to you, our partners, and we're asking you to call right now, one 888 3 and please make a gift or become a monthly partner. 65 cents a day? That's right, for 20, uh, yeah, become a, 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 a Genesis member for $20 a month, 65 cents a day. But that's 65 cents. I mean, you can't even get a coffee for that. But what you can do with that is that you can help us, you can help Huntley Big Street time. to stay on the air mm -hmm. so that every day people can hear the gospel message of Jesus. And that's one of the beautiful things about this ministry. And everybody does something. It makes a huge, huge difference. Please call, difference. Please call us, one 888 or make a secure online donation at 100huntley.com. This is the book. It's called Target Israel. Not kidding you. It's as fresh <laughs> as today's headlines. We've got them right here. Call us right now and get your copy.